So for this last part of the question then, we were given this equation, 2x cubed plus x squared minus 1 equals 0, asked to use the newton raphson method to create this iterative formula, where we had the various functions f of x subscript n and the first differential f dash of x of n. And we substituted these into our formula and we derived this. Now, we're being asked why we can't take our first approximation x1 equal to 0. Well, it seems as if if you were to put 0 in the denominator here, obviously this would be undefined. But this is not going to be sufficient really for this question. What it is, is that if you put 0 into the denominator, which is basically f dash, the first differential of f of uh, x basically, then what we've got here is the gradient of the tangent comes out at 0. And for the newton raphson method to work, it's based on tangents to the curve crossing the x-axis. So this tangent here would be parallel to the x-axis. It wouldn't cross it, so it wouldn't lead to another approximation. So this would be my explanation. When x1, our first approximation, equals 0, we would have that f dash of 0 equals 0, a stationary point, and so the tangents of the curve would not cross the x-axis. Now, if this is a bit confusing, I'll just explain with a graph here. If we were to take the graph of the equation, and say it was y equals 2x cubed plus x squared minus 1, that root where it equals 0 is at this point here. And you remember we took our first approximation, x1, as being at 1. So we're looking at the tangent at this point here. And if we draw that tangent in, you can see it crosses at this point here. This would be our second approximation to the root. We called it x2, and x2 turned out to be 3 quarters. And what we do next is we take our value of 3 quarters, and we're looking at this point on the curve, just above it, OK? And we're looking to draw the tangent at that point on the curve. If you did that, it would look something like this and it crosses the x-axis very close to where the real root is. We found out that that was our third approximation, two-thirds. And so you can see it's closing in on the root. So can you see that if we were to take our first approximation where x1 was equal to zero, okay, what we'd be doing is looking at the tangent at this point, and that tangent would be horizontal to the curve, something like that. And so you can see it doesn't intersect the x-axis, so it will give us no second approximation. So that's why we can't have x1 equal to 0. So I hope the uh, graph here gives you some idea why that's so. Okay.